<laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video of Unplugged TV Australia. We will take the uh, Kia today to Ipswich to the dealership. Um, there are some minor issues with the Kia. Well, it's just a car, you know, a car has issues. It's just what it is. And um, I can show you quickly. So we've got two minor things here. Um, we lost, we lost one of the rain guards here on this side, on the passenger side. It's gone. It's just not there anymore. And we realized at some stage there's a missing rain guard. See, this one is still installed here, um, but the other one is missing. So this needs to be replaced, and the and the rear struts are not working anymore at least one of them is not working correctly see the uh, the lid does not open anymore just by itself it holds the position but it doesn't it doesn't lift it up anymore so either one or both are not working correctly anymore they need replacing as well um, well that's pretty much it Okay, we are now at Nissan, uh, which is uh, Kia, which is uh, Volkswagen, which is <laughs> multiple other brands. Okay, uh, to turn it off, you have to lift the handbrake. I think you have to turn this key here, and then not easy, and no charges here. Hmm. There's only new vehicles here. The service center is on the other side, apparently. Oh, shit. Um, the car won't start if you don't press the clutch. Okay, we made it, we made it! <laughs> So, back at the car. There was a small person sitting in here, apparently. <laughs> okay, so they have ordered all the parts now. There are no bootstrap boot struts in the country, they are saying. Not for Kia. So, they have ordered everything overseas. Uh, they don't need to come from overseas, from uh, Korea. It's Korea. What's in Taiwan. It's not Taiwan. It's Korea. It's a Korean car. So, um, they order the path from Korea. <laughs> it takes about two to four weeks to come in, but that's totally fine. It's been it's been that for months, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so seven years warranty, and even the rain guards here, these shields, are under warranty because they came with a car. So they will replace both sides for free as part of the warranty which is great. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a bit of discussion about this, but Kia told us before, if you buy any accessories right from the start with a car, it's all covered in this seven year warranty. Well, I'll tell you, you can't complain about that. That's a pretty good service. They should really install some chargers here as well for their customers. I'll send them an email later. Well, I'm on the way to electrify all my garden tools. We've got three of them already. See, this electric chainsaw will be my next one. And fits the same battery. So, just got my new toy here, cordless pruning saw. Fits my battery. I didn't go for a full chainsaw this time because I still have a petrol chainsaw. I've got a chainsaw at the moment, so I'm not using it much often. This one will help me with the firewood. 
another tool. Let's see how we fit this in there. minute quick charge <laughs> and number one 132.7 well is this not the worst thing you could ever imagine working on a gas station car won't start without clutch mm. Dirty, dirty, dirty. <sighs> That's my wife. Can you new classes? Interesting ride in a combustion engine manual little car. Look at all these pedals down there. This is all necessary to operate the car. Plus this one here in all directions, back and forward. See this light there? If you don't close the lid correctly, if you just move it down without closing it correctly, it drains the battery. The car won't start anymore tomorrow morning. We had this twice. Or the same if the door is not closed correctly. The light will stay on until the battery dies. <sighs> so the light should turn off after 15-20 minutes or so, you know. Just to protect the battery. But this one stays on all the time until the battery <coughs> is killed. This new car smell. Amazing. So we are still charging. 35 minutes left. I just started charging while we were in the shopping center <laughs> remotely. And you now can hear the fan. Battery cooling has kicked in. We've got the 32 degrees here. And even with 6 amp, 6 amp charging, the battery gets so warm that the cooling kicks in, but without aircon, just the fan and the cooling pump. If I turn off charging now, or it's almost there anyway, if I turn off charging now, will this stop the cooling? It's five minutes now. Charging complete. Okay, unlock charge port. Even without charging cable plugged in, without charging, cooling is still going. So the, the, the cooling of the battery is working when the car is plugged in or when the car is not plugged in. Cooling of the battery has total priority. Amazing. Huh. So you open the door, cooling stops. Let's see, there's another parcel for me here. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. But before we open this parcel, uh, let's try this new toy. Excellent, works well. Um, 
By the way, this is not a product endorsement, but um, this um, pruning saw, battery super powered, uh, works quite well for me. And emissions free, charged by solar power. Ha! Ha! Well, I cut down these two branches, and the battery has still two of three lights. It's amazing. That's exactly the right tool. That's what I always wanted. Always wanted and never got for Christmas. Now I got it. Okay, back to the car. Okay, so in the first parcel, in the first parcel are our mud flaps and mud guards. Yeah, I think we've got better light. Oh, look at this. This, this is the blue stuff they put into the washer fluid container and oh okay so back to this one here so this is the front okay here we go so this is without and this is with so it's quite a nice and well fitting mud guard here so and this is exactly where i need these two pins for because they need to come out and then we put the mud flap in place and then we put the pins back in but there are no pins and this one of up here this hole here uh, needs to be drilled but it goes only in the plastic here so not in the metal it goes in the plastic um, I don't want to mount these mud guards right now because I don't have the clear film for it now I ordered some M3 3M some 3M automotive clear film here some wrap vinyl wrap and I want to put this like a little stripe here down here on the metal before I mount these ones. Because these these corners here, they are quite sharp and they will they will rub on your on your paint all the time here. There's dirt underneath and then they start rubbing while driving. So I don't want this to happen. I will put some clear uh, vinyl down here to protect the paint from this uh, plastic. But this is not here yet, so they go back in the box until this stuff arrives and these are the same mud flaps we have mounted on hunter's car already and it took us probably 20 minutes for all four of them so quite nice yeah I show you here on my wife's car I'm not sure if you can see this let me see yeah you can see the corner the the border here see they put some clear vinyl wrap some like a sticker like a clear sticker on this part of the metal here because this is where the where the rocks coming flying along and where the rocks hit the panel here and this is just a protection you can see it here now yeah it's like a triangle and this is just a normal little clear sticker and i want this material to go under the mud flaps and I will put such a triangle sticker like on my wife's car on this side here of the car as well to protect this area here at the back. Holy shit, they folded it. They folded it. Ah, oh God. It's rubber material. It will go back in shape. Okay, it's not as bad as it looked like. That fits perfectly. Great. So this is like the front, front uh, trunk, trunk mat. Uh, it's just a rubber plastic style of stuff here. Uh, Twenty-two dollars on eBay, including shipping. And I ordered the rear one as well. Good fits. There we go, and this is in the rear. Nice. <laughs> well, and again, at, at this price class of a car, you would expect the manufacturer would supply like like these these mats here for the front, uh, for the front and for the back. But uh, yeah, there was nothing here. Uh, I don't know if the premium if the premium versions of the car have these protectors in there, but it comes naked like this fits perfectly. $22 and I think $19 for the back. 
so I bought them both for yeah do you reckon should they should they be included in the car such uh, little detail things I, I don't know I have no idea I mean my wife's car hasn't got any protective stuff in there and the floor mats weren't included we got them for free but they were not included in the car usually and this was only a $15,000 car don't know leave your comments down below as always you get to know each other very well during a bath <laughs> so guys I have seen this uh, little chip here of course which you have dis discovered in one of my videos already and I want to show you another thing after washing the car look at all that this area up there this all gets totally wet and the bonnet as well this is how far the water comes when you push the water from the from the windscreen into the car just creates more work you know need to wipe this all off yeah I've, I've never seen such a design before well I've never seen a frunk before I've never had a car with a frunk before the only seal in this area here where the actual frunk sits yeah this is the only part which is sealed everything else is pretty much open and secondly we've got some condensation inside the car Can you see that there it's here it's here looks like it's inside the car and the same on these two sides here and there as well yeah yeah it's all an interesting design uh, Teslander is looks like it looks like new hey doesn't it look like new look at these pictures here <laughs> how amazing guys okay thank you very much for watching again thanks for all your support this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off you stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon okay guys see you then bye bye